the Michael Patrick Shields Firekeepers Casino Friday, in fact, and that means there are new movies on the silver screen today, and I am going for sure as soon as we get off the air to catch a flick because it's been too long. Ron Van Timmeren is on the other end of our line right now from Celebration Cinemas. Welcome back to the program, sir. Hi, how's it going, Michael Patrick? Good. I'm looking forward to uh, to popping into Celebration Cinemas as soon as I can. I like that you have the morning movies because nobody's there for the most part, or the, <laughs> the very few people, and you can see what you want whenever you want. But what what should I watch today? Well, I know you. If you just said you hadn't seen a movie in a while, and Argo should be right there near the top of the list. Yeah, but you see, my definition of a while is about a week and a half. I oh, like okay. to go to the movies. I did see Argo the day it came out because I was really excited about it and I wasn't disappointed. You were absolutely right about that. It took me back to my childhood uh, when I was a paper boy for the Detroit News and I used to take the papers around and, and while I was delivering the papers the whole Iran a hostage situation was unfolding in my route. So every day as a kid, I think I might have been in sixth grade or something like that, I learned about it by watching this drama and that's exactly what this picture is about. Exactly, and it held up so well at the box office, it's barely dropping at all, uh, place number two behind Paranormal Activity. So, okay, this week it should be Cloud Atlas, Michael Patrick. All right, I'm a little worried about that because I read a review that said it's confusing and uh, kind of plotting at points. Yeah, and it's long. Oh, my goodness, it's way over your limit, Michael Patrick, 164 minutes. Uh, <laughs> this will be a challenge for you, see, oh. if you can. But you know what? You got to, if, you, if you're a true moviegoer, you want to see all the movies that are going to be nominated for Best Picture at Oscar time, and this will be one of them. And, of course, it's got a great cast with Tom Hanks and Halle Berry, Susan Sarandon, Hugh Grant, Hugo Weaving from the Wachowski family. Uh, they're not brothers anymore. There's a brother and now a sister. And uh, it's very unusual, and, and yet it looks awesome. That sounds like a lot of star power to support a terrible script. Well, this is the one about, it's sort of about reincarnation. Yeah, it's got six different plot lines going, and the actors play different characters at different times, all the way back to the 1800s and forward to the 24th century. So there's a lot of hopping around and genre jumping and century hopping, and, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a challenge, and that's what some people really like about movies. What was that movie uh, a couple of years ago, started with an I, that was really complicated, where the, they would bend the plot so much that you couldn't figure out what was going on? That was nominated for Best Picture, too. Inception. Inception. That was it. Is or it similar Tree of to that? Life last year, if you saw that. Yeah. Uh, you're never really sure what's going on. You yeah. just know it's art. Because <laughs> mm. yeah. that's what, what they said it was. That's how I you felt just... about that Philip Seymour Hoffman movie a couple of weeks ago, The Master, you made me oh, go yeah. see. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That, that I left. <laughs> you... You blame Ron for saying I do. He told me I would he like it. He made me go see he, it. He overestimated my intellect, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> One of those movies you feel dumb if you don't say you liked it. Um, Paranormal <laughs> Activity 4 is the same old act all over again? People yeah. going to sleep and the ghost bothering them? Yeah, it was really weak. I, you know, and I don't like scary movies, but I, I went on a dare. Uh, it just uh, left me, left me a little cold. Uh, there's, you know, other good uh, thrillers this week, including Silent Hill Revelation 3D, which uh, is getting some interesting reviews, and and Sinister is still playing out there. But Paranormal Activity, I mean, my skin crawled a couple of times, but it was just okay. Hey, Ron, is that, uh, is that uh, from the video game Silent Hill? Yes, sir. Yeah, so they call that Revelations 2 just like Resident Evil? Uh, well, they're, they're trading subtitles all over the place. <laughs> and, you know, it's, just go for the thrills, baby. There we go. Um, Taken 2. Uh, I want to see it because it's set in Istanbul and I've been there. I think it's going to be interesting. And I, I like Famke Jansen very much. Uh, and Liam Neeson is Irish. So I can build a case for seeing that today. But hey, Have you seen 8 Mile? Uh, no. Because I'm sure you've been down 8 Mile in Detroit, and yes. that's your protocol for seeing a movie. <laughs> uh, uh, I made Ron laugh. I got you. Oh, you should uh, <laughs> take that joke and put it right in that uh, movie that he's talking about here where you can under Cloud Atlas, so we can figure Atlas. out what's going on. No, Taken 2 uh, is a good movie. If you like the first one, you like the second one. By the way, one. if that's you go, my, to, go down take. 8 Mile movie, it'd have to be X-rated, because that's where Trump says. <laughs> um, now, back to, the fla uh, now back to Taken 2. What I'm worried is that it's going to be warmed over the same story all over again. 
it's got a little twist to it. And yes, they suck with the formula, Michael Patrick. Mm-hmm. You know, and a hundred million dollars later, they they're glad they did because the audience really likes this movie. And it's it's the, because it's more of the same, even though there was a couple of twists in it that it, are, it you know make it a different story. Well, that's okay. Sometimes you 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 know what you want. You're going to get what you want. It's the kind of entertainment you want. There's nothing wrong with that. Not mm-hmm. everything has to be you know, a critical masterpiece in order to enjoy yourself at the movies. Yeah. The one I'm really looking forward to, and I forget what it's called, but it's Denzel Washington as an airline pilot. I know that's coming out soon. Yeah, next week, Flight, it's called, and it's directed by Robert Zemeckis, and it's getting a really good buzz going uh, for a good drama, good acting, uh, one of the best directors in the business. And, yeah, he plays an airline pilot who's, who he basically is involved in a crash, but uh, it's the investigation afterward that uh, is the interesting part of that story. Yeah. Oh, bummer. Is there any snakes on that plane? No, it no sounds... The visuals are fantastic, yeah. and the and the storyline, the twist that you're talking about, maybe we won't give it away, but it is, uh, it's one of those, hmm, never thought of that kind of things that I really like. I wish I could get on a jet right now if the Concorde was still in existence and go to London, because if I, if I did, I could see the new Bond movie already. It's already been released in England. Yeah, I heard that, and they had the big premiere. It was quite an event, I understand. All the reviews I've read, Michael Patrick, are raving about Skyfall, and that's just two weeks away on November 9th. Actually, one day earlier than that on the 8th at the IMAX Theater. That's where I'll be. I got some, and we're going to dedicate the entire show on the 8th to Skyfall uh, for what it's worth. And I also got some good news yesterday that I'm going to be broadcasting from Monte Carlo, uh, Monaco, uh, in the south of France there, and uh, to celebrate the James Bond movie, we're going to be at the Grand Casino, and we are going to have as our special guest in person, Roger Moore, what? the former 007. No that is uh, coming in the month of November. We're working on a date right now, but it'll be uh, in Make conjunction Make sure you tell him Skyfall. Moonraker is the best movie ever. <laughs> Life magazine agreed with you. They like Moonraker, all right, all right. for what it's worth. But for now, Ron Van Timmeren... See you at the movies. See you at the movies, too. He's with Celebration Cinemas, and I'll see you there right after the program this morning. It's Michael Patrick Shields.